What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe wow. because we love our quarterback talk tonight. So let's just keep it going. Jacksonville Jaguars. On the clock, number one pick, head coach Urban Meyer, former head coach of Ohio State University, probably recruited Justin Fields. Yes. Do you take Trevor Lawrence? I think he does. I think he sh- and I think he postured it that way at the very unique and never been done before pro day where the head coach was on the field, which is very rare. Uh, he treated it like it was his pro day. Like he was him and Dabo were just chilling. I think he wants Trevor. I think he wants he, – he, he knows Fields. I'm not saying he doesn't know Fields. I think he wants Trevor, and I think that's telling. I think that's very telling about um, what he wants to make happen there and what he believes the talent differential is between the two of them because they're probably going to be one too, just like the Wentz Goff, just like Peyton Manning, Ryan Leaf, just like so many years where we saw there's – oh, there's two great guys. There's always a wrong pick. There's always the Greg <laughs> for the Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant was the Ooh. second pick in that draft, not the yeah. first. Greg Oden went before him to the Portland Trailblazers, mind you, that theoretically could have had Kevin Durant and Damian Lillard on the same team within the same three-year window. No. Gross. Gross. That's Gross. a title or two. Yeah. Because Dame sure. Lillard got him to the damn freaking uh, conference finals on By shooting. Himself. Anyway, back to quarterback. I, I don't know. I love basketball. What can I say? But it's Trevor Lawrence. I would be shocked enough to fall out of my chair if they take anything other than Trevor Lawrence. I don't think they're going to entertain a trade. I don't think they're going to uh, – other than maybe if Deshaun really becomes available and it's a Deshaun for Trevor and not much else, maybe. But Urban also saw – Deshaun up close. So I don't, he has better intel than we do. He was a college coach when these boys were playing. I'd be hard pressed to, to pass on a Deshaun Watson for Trevor Lawrence. And I, like, I would do, I, there's not a team. I wouldn't do that trade. That is the only ones are the green Bay Packers, the chiefs. Oh, and I, the bucks. Sorry. Cause you, you can't, you can't. You just you can't you don't you don't do that. You don't take the one you just won who still looks like he's got something and trade him. But other than those three teams, I even think Seattle is in the conversation. I even think other 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 teams that have these guys that uh, I think Baltimore would not take that call. I, I think they're interested. They're they're then comparing. They're like, well, we have the Lamar. But boy, last year wasn't as good as the year before. It was not. It was not. So what? I, where are you on that? How many? How lo, how short is the list of we won't take the call for Deshaun? Um, I think you named the big ones. I think Casey, Green Bay, Tampa. Um, the only one that I don't. The only other one that I don't think takes the call is Buffalo. Oh, good. Yep. Yep. I forgot that, and you're right about that. I think Buffalo won't take the. They're I think happy with. What I they're. think that currently Deshaun Watson is a better quarterback than Josh Allen. I think that in this moment, in real time, he's a better quarterback than Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen has ingrained himself in the Buffalo culture. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and they're, that they'll die up. for him now. He's building something there. He's. I, I'm upset about it. I, I really thought the Dolphins were going to have a window when the when the Brady left. It was going to create the void. We even won the 10 games to get there. That 10 games should have been enough. Um, Josh Allen is in that division, and he don't want none of that. He don't want to hear any of that jazz. What uh, they, they acquired what? A big receiver. It was uh, shit. Diggs. Diggs, of course, who had an epic season oh, and is gross. delighted to be with Josh Allen. Just oh, yeah. the happiest he's ever been playing. He's elite. To a point where he could easily be in the top three. You could make the argument that he's there now already, if not maybe just top five receiver in the league. They're getting somewhere. They're doing a few things that hurts me as a Dolphin fan, but you're right. I forgot Buffalo. 
absolutely wouldn't take the call, I don't think. But I think everybody else, you have to. I think even Lamar, I'm not I'm not the biggest Lamar defender. Um, I, I think I've said this on a previous podcast that we did. I just, I don't, I haven't seen him make all the throws enough consistently no, to, but to hitch myself to that wagon. But he, he is really- he a talent? Is he electric? Is he exciting to watch? Absolutely. He I is have no the best running quarterback in the NFL going for him. He's better at running than any of the other guys, even Patty. It's the throws, but he plays quarterback. So that's a concern. You, you can run all you want and win games and win maybe a playoff game. He finally got one or whatever. Win an MVP award. Are you winning titles if you can't hit the tight spots? Nope. Nope. You, you, you're just not. With, unless and your I, defense I, goes elite, and, I, and that could happen because Harbaugh does that. But yeah, I do think Deshaun can though. I think he makes those throws. I think he moves very well. I think he's a stretched out version of Russell Wilson. Yeah, without the raindrop. That's the only thing in his game that he doesn't have that Russ does. Right. Is he doesn't have that raindrop, but he can move. He can make all the throws in tight windows. He's made bad receivers look good. No, oh, yeah. Especially this year. Yeah, I, I I hate that we keep coming back around, but I just think Houston's a, a giant, giant pile of dew. Yeah, well, well we're talking <laughs> quarterbacks, right? And <clears throat> Trevor Lawrence will go number one. I would I would bet some monies on that, which is going to trigger a lot of phone calls at number two <clears throat> with the Jets. Do you think... Do you think the Jets are committed to Sam Darnold, or if you're in the if you're in the Jets seat right now, uh, what you've seen of Sam Darnold, even though it's been an an Adam Gase system, which you know firsthand is not good, um, would you stick to him, or are you looking at Justin Fields going, let's try this again? I'm looking at Fields. I'm looking at trades. If I'm the Jets, I'm looking at Fields and Wilson. What the is Wilson the BYU kid? Wilson, yeah, he's the BYU. I'm looking at these two guys. You're not getting Lawrence. Well, gosh, if something happens and Lawrence is available, then it's over. You just take him and you just oh, ship, yeah. ship Darnold or whatever. The trade opportunities there should be better for your franchise than just taking a quarterback, though. I really think there's other teams that would want that second. I, I, I think that. I believe that. Or they could use that in in a big deal, right, because of that, whether it's Houston, whether it's I'm trying to think there's a few other teams or Seattle comes in into play there. Um, a few other teams with disgruntled guys or guys that have underperformed Oakland's in that conversation. There's, it's very interesting. I, I don't think they're married to Sam Darnold. I know they've said a few things. I, I don't buy it for one second. How could you be, you know, um, <laughs> it's just, let me just, you just tell it how it is, man. Sam Darnold sucks a little bit. I didn't, and that was the thing is he was the he was the number one quarterback in that draft for in, in Saquon's draft, and the Giants picked before the Jets. Thin yeah, and everyone was saying Sam Darnold was the guy that should go to New York. He was the guy, and I always wanted Saquon, whether that was the popular opinion or not. I always wanted Saquon, right? Because I in in seeing him play at USC, which is perfect weather conditions, ninety eight percent of the time. He never wowed me. I never watched a game of his and was like, this guy's the truth. Like, never. never, Zero times did I, did I feel that way. So, and Saquon, I was like, this dude is, a, is an animal person. Every Penn State highlight was worthy of prime time. Every, every, and his, his quads alone. You're right, though. That draft, um, what year was that, 18? Correct? Uh, yes. I Not the so. Mahomes year. Mahomes is 17. Yeah, and that one hurts me, too. Oh, I, yeah, I know, because he, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well, every team in the past, there were, t- uh, he went, what, eighth that year or seventh, Mahomes? Something like that. The Giants were rumored to wanting to trade up and for Mahomes, and the Chiefs beat them to it, and it makes me sad. Boy, that would. Dolphins weren't even in that conversation. Us being in the Deshaun conversation, I say us, like I matter to the team, I do not, but I buy hats and friends buy hats. <laughs> Um, it hurts me to be in the Deshaun conversation because I know we're not getting it. I don't want to dream that dream. It's like dreaming of a stock that is going up even though it hasn't gone up. Like that dream hurts really bad the next day when you look at the report and it's like, oh, it actually went down. 
Oh, oh, boss. oh, oh. So that's what's going to happen for me when our quarterback is is. I like Tua, and I, and I either if he gets the time to develop, cool, cool. But but I'm going to feel like if we had a shot at Deshaun and didn't do something, that feels bad. Yeah, I, uh, I I'm looking at the 2018 draft now, and Baker's Baker went number one, which yeah. looks good this year. It didn't look good last year. And it didn't look good the year before that. So I'm still not sold on that Baker. I'm not. And I was high on Baker coming out of yes. Oklahoma. Progressive insurance is pretty high on him as well. I think that's going to yes. work out. I think that's- uh, the Giants win Saquon. The Jets go Darnold. And then you go down to seven. And the Bills took Allen. I was also very high on Josh Allen. But I wasn't ready to take him in. Oh, you know who else? There's another first round quarterback there. He's a real piece of shit. Josh Rosen is in that draft, isn't he? Number 10, Josh yeah. Rosen. Who said, and this is nearly a direct quote, that he's upset. Say, I know I know exactly what you're talking about. Where he was drafted, he believed he was better. He is by far the worst of all of them by by such a wide margin. Sam Darnold versus Josh Rosen is too different. We're at AFL. We're at like CFL versus NFL. Rose Not even close. Is trash, and that hurts me for a different reason. I thought there was going to be a, a Judeo-American, a <laughs> Jewish, freaking beacon at the quarterback position. Not yet. Not yet, sir. Not yet. Not. It's not time. But you will. You will bring one up. You will bring one into existence. Boy, if you can, <laughs> from your mouth to the heavens. 